how to make your child stop using mobile phone too much let's call it screen time screen time includes everything using mobile phone playing video games watching tv or squandering time on laptop excess screen time is such a big problem today clients have told me that their children's screen time is very high these days it ranges from 4 hours to even 10 hours a day yes it can become that bad what's wrong with it parents complain that their children are completely lost they don't study, they don't eat, they don't interact with family members. The only friends they have are online. They don't go out to play, just lying in the bed all day, lost in their virtual world. They don't sleep on time. And it's all because the child's life revolves around mobile, video games, laptop and TV. It's like this screen time has consumed their child. So, what can be done? I'll first begin with things that you shouldn't do. Things that don't work and can make the problem even worse. First requesting sometimes you think if you just be nice to them if you ask calmly beta please give me the phone back please don't use it so much it's not good for you they will someday listen to you and comply well they won't requesting would rarely work for this issue second thing that won't work is testing their willpower some of my clients tell me why should we have to stop the child from using the phone I want my child to stop on their own I want to make them responsible why should I have to tell them every time? My child must have the willpower to leave it by themselves. Bad idea. The screen time in itself is so rewarding to the brain that a child basically won't be able to stop themselves. It will be very very hard. Don't put them through this test. They'll fail and you'll be disappointed again and again. Third, nagging or shouting. This is the negative version of requesting where you just increase the intensity of asking. Like you either ask too many times, but please leave the phone, what are you doing all day, you wasted three hours, when will you study, etc. Or you can get angry and say those same things in anger, shouting at the top of your lungs. Why are you so stubborn? Can you just once listen to what your parents are saying? I'll break your damn phone if you bring it to the dinner table. Again, won't work. These were some of the things that won't work. So what will? Here are some suggestions. First thing, prevention. Don't even let this habit take roots. If your child is young, like below 12, it's relatively easier to establish authority and say no for something. Parents often allow children phones, iPads and laptops to just keep the trouble away from them. Like if they are busy in those gadgets, at least they won't create a mess, at least they won't fight, at least I'll have some peace of mind. Bad idea. Keeping your children away from gadgets gets harder and harder as they grow up and as their addiction becomes deeper. It becomes extremely difficult when they are adolescents, like above 12, habits are formed and they are big enough to start challenging your authority. So to all the parents whose children are younger, let me tell you, if you don't become careful and strict right now, hell is coming. It's not pretty, prevent it. Now how do you actually do it? I'll tell you some major techniques that are available. First clear rule for screen time. Having a clear rule for how much screen time is accepted in the house is very crucial. For younger children, one to two hours is enough. As the children get older, two to three hours is enough. That's just a general idea. It will depend on what the child is actually doing in that time. If they are watching good documentaries on Netflix, maybe even three hours is okay. But if they are playing video games, even two hours is too much. So taking into account what your child is actually doing, come up with a number very specific number of hours which are allowed and that number must be communicated to the child very clearly and strongly so if you decide for example two hour limit of screen time make it a rule and don't let them break it second clean policing probably the most successful technique here is policing by which i mean using your authority to say no think of their screen time like they are bringing stuff from other countries into this country you are the customs officer for each product there is a limit to how much you can bring to this country and if you cross the limit, customs officer will seize your stuff. No negotiation, no fights, clean, well-established authority and execution of rules. So each parent needs to learn to be a good police, which involves making sure that your well thought out and rational decisions are executed without abuse or violence and with least possible harm. This can be learned. And when it comes to screen time, this clean policing must be used instead of requesting, nagging or shouting in anger. Third rational consistent communication so you made a rule and you are executing it but the child doesn't know why so it's your job to communicate everything rationally and consistently this is another skill that must be learned you must learn how to make them understand the reasons behind your decisions so what are the reasons behind cutting down their screen time there could be many like preventing addiction healthy eyes avoiding sedentary lifestyle engaging with real people and real things etc 
and those reasons must be communicated in every manner possible calmly strongly in short in detail even if they disagree with them you need to keep telling them consistency matters i'll mention one thing as you introduce clear rules policing and even rational communication you'll get a lot of resistance a lot of talk back a lot of tantrums you must keep going forward and learn how to deal with all the rebellion you cannot accept defeat when they resist it's your turn to learn something it's your time to solve that problem not throwing the towel fourth replace screen time with better or real activities you take something away from them you must give them something back some options at least buy them toys comics books good board games which are social or educational in nature put them in music or dance classes take them out exercise with them put them in a sports academy have a lot of fun with them talk to them at least for an hour every day find ways that they can hang out with their friends make sure they sleep full hours etc and making sure that they stick to these new better activities will also take a lot of rational communication but ultimately they will catch on if they find them rewarding which they will it's a matter of time again the period of transition will be tough but that's the way to go to summarize you take their gadgets away but you make sure to give them something back and when you take their gadgets away you do three major things have a clear rule of limited screen time execute that rule with full authority with least possible harm and support all of the above with consistent rational communication finally do it as early as possible in their childhood if you don't do it you'll probably need a counselor's help later in life to make that happen so prevent future hell by acting today you've been warned that's it if you think your son or daughter needs counseling or life coaching you should book an appointment either with me or a counselor in my team i help adolescents and young adults in following areas taking responsibility and developing work ethic improving concentration and productivity controlling screen addiction to video games phone tv internet and social media managing anger and bad temperament reducing social anxiety and exam anxiety dealing with depression developing crucial human values like respect gratitude humility compassion etc establishing basic health habits for diet sleep and exercise to book an appointment option 1 just call me on this number or message me on whatsapp option 2 you can directly go to our website page shridharlifeschool.com/counsel and fill the application form there To invite me to your school or organization for counseling seminars or to set up a long-term counseling contract, email me at freethelifeschool@gmail.com or WhatsApp on this number. An important request before you go: if you like the ideas shared in the video or you found some benefit in using them, I request you to help me in growing further. I'm trying to build a team of researchers and video makers so we can deepen our knowledge and make more such videos. You can support me by making a donation to Shridhar Life School. Go to shridharlifeschool.com/donate. If you're watching on YouTube, you can use the Paytm link shared in the description below. Any amount is welcome. Thanks a lot for all of your support thus far. I really am very grateful.